Welcome forward to Raspirance Red, Green and Gold Friday. We have inside of the studio with us um, Kwame McPherson, a prolific writer. Yeah, he's Jamaican, but he was born in England. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I grew up in Jamaica. Uh, and and you, you say you you you, you join this um, Commonwealth yeah, thing all the time. I, seven times. It, it was eight times. Eight times. Yeah, eight I, times. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. <laughs> the, the, the previous seven, like I said, but it's it's also interesting in terms of the journey yeah. because I feel that the, the previous seven I was in England. Yeah. And and there was a con- there was no connection with the writing if that makes sense. Right. So right. coming back to Jamaica, you connect uh, exactly, yeah. and that's the reason why I'm where I am now. Yeah, right? yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So, as so, the winner, yeah, for, as the winner. For, the for the region. For the region. Yeah. All right. So so. <laughs> Maybe read piece of it. Still. Read piece of it. Yeah. Right. So so, so so the title is called Hokohi, which is O C O E E. What is that? All right. So Hokohi, back in the in the 20th century, like in the the, the early early parts of the 1900s, mm. there's a lot of black tone african-american tones mm-hmm. there's quite a lot across very successful too okay but what happened with white supremacy with mm-hmm. with white people mainly mm-hmm. is that mm-hmm. they destroyed a lot of them and this, yeah. was, this was one town in florida yeah, yeah that yeah. was called this it was wiped the, out the, the black florida. wall street it's all yeah there's so, there's so <laughs> many the, the instances of tones that have been destroyed and completely wiped yes. out the face of the earth is, yes. it's unbelievable yeah so this is one such tone mm-hmm. and I, I just something else came to me one day say you know what let's let, i've been doing some research i'm saying let me write about fictional experience okay of a brother who's just driving on his way going somewhere you know what i mean make we hear it man. all right so i'm, go, I'm gonna i'm gonna read an excerpt of of it um and this is way down in the story still because the start from the start to top yeah. it's, it's, it's a pretty long story about three thousand words but i'm gonna i'm gonna read an excerpt of when he's stopped by the police mm-hmm. I must have been less than a mile from the town when blinking blue and red lights suddenly flashed in my rear view. I had not seen them creep up on me and must have missed the cruiser's headlights. Maybe I was so lost and in agreement with Michael Jackson mm-hmm. about a lady in my life. That's okay. the song. Okay. Well, in his life, my lady was nowhere around. I had learned from experience never to stop on lonely dark roads. One night in the city and against the years of annoying and my better judgment, I had stopped for a cop car that trailed me for over five blocks. They said it was a regular stop. Demanded my ID, which I refused to give. Instead, I held on to it and shoved my work ID into, into their faces because I knew my constitutional rights. They threatened me with, a, with arrest since, according to them, I was obstructing an investigation into someone fitting my description that had robbed a liquor store and was seen running away. Bearing in mind I was walking home, had my work ID slung from a lanyard around my neck and also carried a heavy rucksack on my back. Based on the allegation, an officer decided he was going to handcuff me. I never saw the inside of their cruiser. Let's just say they came off worse and I got off from having a police record or even seen inside of a prison. My ancestors definitely were with me then through a superb lawyer. The headlights and strobe lights flooded my rear view. I kept on at a reasonable, reasonable pace, not speeding, willing my rental to reach the town's main street lights. I was just on the outskirts of Okohi when the cruiser sped up, overtook and skidded to a stop just in front, blocking my way. I screeched to a halt. I waited to be approached by the cop or cops, but nobody came from the cruiser for a while. I had glanced at my dashboard clock just as I slammed on the brakes. I looked again to see that five minutes had elapsed. I wondered what they were waiting for. Maybe to make me sweat or run in my vehicle's plate. I gave it another two minutes. Finally, I watched both doors slowly open and two state troopers alight. They confidently walked over. One of the tall and thin and the other short and fat. Tweedled and tweedled dumb. I chuckled. With their flashlights blinded me and about a meter from my front window, the taller one stood back and shouted, Let me see your hands! I stuck them out my window. The fat one worked his way to the passenger side, brilliant, brilliant light brightening my car's interior. Where you headed, boy? Boy, is this not 2022, I thought? Do you, see, do, you, do you need to see my driver's license and documents, I replied. I was not about to call him sir or rise to his, to his beard. I asked you a question, boy. That was the second time he called me boy. I demanded, do you need to see my papers? I did the telling here, boy. Third time, I said nothing. My hand's still on my window, still out my window. I knew how these traffic stops frequently went and I could only could already see tomorrow's news headlines and that was if anyone heard about my passing or should I say killing. I was in the boonies, the back of beyond and nowhere in particular. 
no other vehicle, nothing but a wide expanse of empty land and a town further away in the distance. I was alone and isolated, but I was not scared. During the last Gulf War, there was an incident where my unit and I became separated while in the Iraqi, Iraqi desert. I happened on an Iraqi patrol. After a brief firefight, I needed to evade capture, which meant being stealthy and doing grotesque stuff to careless stragglers. I had seen too much on my tour. Death a constant companion. I had been scared then. Get out now! Can I have your name and badge number? He did not answer. Instead, he pointed the light at the rear seat as if, something, as if looking for something. I could see him better with the deflected light and noticed his hand on his sidearm. I was not about to comply. I had seen too many incidences of black men stepping out of the vehicle and dying. A friend of mine ended up that way. It was heartbreaking attending his funeral and watching his family, especially his mother, wailing and in complete sorrow. I wanted to kill those cops who had killed him. Mm. Boy, do you, you heard me? Fourth time. There was not a fifth time of him calling me boy since it happened suddenly, whatever it was. I saw the flicker of movement in my wing mirror in the distance. The light rapidly, rapidly increased in size. Orangishly red, the hues constant, constantly changed, shifting like a 60s kaleidoscope lamp I once saw in a thrift store. The colors reminded me of when I was in the field and cannon fire lit up the sky, shooting shells on, the un on an unseen enemy. The tints now looked just like when the flames flashed from the cannon spouts. I watched the orb grow. Officer Fat said, Officer Fat saw it first and he turned to look, eyes widening in terror. He mouthed rather than verbally said, What the hell? The bright ball swiftly consumed my mirror and Officer Tall must have caught the light from the corner of his eye. He drew his weapon. Involuntarily, I flinched and ducked down onto the passenger seat. I wanted to make certain I gave myself a living chance. Abruptly, I heard both officers, officers shouting, panicking their voices, then a barrage of shots shattered the night. They emptied their clips. I count over 17 shots. None splintered my windows or smashed into my car. A brilliant bright light blinded me as I stayed low and covered my head with my arms, my eyes tight. Even behind the lids, I saw the hues morph in their multicolored dance. There was a sudden loud whoosh, then total silence, until night creatures slowly and quietly made their presence known once again. I raised my head, expecting to see both officers and searched around. They and their cruiser were gone. What? <laughs> hey, may I see the story a while ago? <laughs> may I see it? May I look for the story, you know? Yeah, yeah, I, I think that's brilliant. Thank you. That's yeah, brilliant. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. So, it's so. an imaginary story, but it's, it's, it's real. Yeah. Cause that do happen. Yeah, exactly. All the time. Exactly. And what what looked the light was. So this was thing. he imagining that happening? No, it was. Ha it, 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 it's it, real. It, yeah. So it's happening to him. But what had what was coming along? Cause like I said, it, it was in, it's almost in the middle of the story. But I didn't want I didn't want to share about what he saw in the distance. With because the town where he's going to Okohi yeah, didn't exist. Right. But, but it came up suddenly. Yes. When, as as because he was looking somewhere to stop. Right. So, so the whole idea of the story, the premise of the story is the ancestors of the ones who came along and, and, and helped him. Yeah, and helped him and so the, the, the police and everything else. Well, and, I mean, then, and then when he, when he went to the town, it's his relations from yeah. previous. Kwame, well, you sound like a good writer, man. You sound like, <laughs> you, sound like you can write Rasta. <laughs> how, how many books you write? Already. No, I've written no, I've written over about over ten, you know, but I've contributed quite a lot of anthology. You've written over ten books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, over ten books. Uh, that publish. Published, yeah, self published, but um, they're out there. So that is what you do. You're yeah. a writer. I'm a, You're I'm, a ready I'm, writer. I'm, I'm a ready. I call myself an entrepreneur. So that means an authorpreneur. Author yeah, authorpreneur. Like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so that's who I am. Yes. You know what I mean? So I do other things aside from writing, but writing is the core of my business of who I am. Right, I right, right. You know, so so yeah. So, so let me ask you. Let me ask you the big question. You make money from it? Yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I, I book you coach. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's it, cause, funny enough, you know. Because nowadays, because people don't write as much, right? Yeah. And people, and people, so people do want to write. So I book coach and mentor and that kind of stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so when I'm writing my book, you can coach. Yeah, me. man. Well, I'm writing my book. Okay. But, but, but. Yeah, man, definitely, man, definitely. But I write mostly when I'm on plane, when I'm on. That's a good time Long to write. flight. Yeah, man, that's a good time. Long to write. flight, and then I, 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 I just record things. That's good too. On my phone. Yeah, man. That's good. And and then I'm going to have somebody to. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, to, so to I put I, it together. That's right. So basically, that's what I do. I help. I guide somebody along, but I also go through it, which means taking someone's work and writing it for them. Yes. But yeah. that 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 cut it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so will I. Yeah. So you're going to get money for this yeah. thing that you want here? Yes, I will. How much are you going? To, can I ask you? <laughs> <laughs> I intend to win the international. I have a in my water. I feel that I won it. So it's going to be at least how much. 
7,000 pounds. 7,000 pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Remember? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we love it. We love it. We love it. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. How long have you been writing? Though? From I, I always said I've been writing from birth. Yes. Writing, writing shows me. You know, it's not, right. not the other way around. Right. But I didn't recognize it until later on. As a matter of fact, yeah. my brother has, has always been a better writer than myself in high school. Okay. At Calabar. He okay. actually won prizes, yes. but he didn't continue afterwards. I okay. didn't write in Calabar. I didn't write at all. So you, 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 you came to Jamaica, you went to school in Jamaica? Yeah, man, I went to school. I went to prim, um, time primary, and then for Calabar, Calabar. But, and you know, primary school, okay. you're, 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 yeah, you, yeah, you have yeah. to write essays and competition mm. and poetry. And kind of, so I guess that's where it started. Right. You know what I mean? But the, in terms of the talent itself, mm. I, did, I did not know that I had it until I left Jamaica. Okay. Yeah, oh, okay. Whereas my brother was better than me at writing at high school. So it's only when I left. Mm-hmm. And I ended up working in the civil service, mm-hmm. and and somebody came to me and said um, they wanted a poem done. And I said, yeah, man, I can write a poem. So they wanted a personalized poem okay. for the loved and one. And you wrote that. Yeah. Because so I car- know I noticed the first two lines that you write is very poetic. Yeah. They rhyme. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean, yeah, so, yeah. so 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 you write songs too and them things. Eh? I haven't written songs, but I've written poetry. Yeah, but yeah. Poetry, poetry, it's, it's songs it's is poetry. poetry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Somebody yeah. said somebody said to me. Yeah, yeah you can you can just I sing it. Just put melody to it and it and it works. Yeah, that's true. True. So yeah, so um. So I've written uh, about, about three poetry books: one of love, mm-hmm. one of of, of um, struggle and life observations, and mm-hmm. another one of um, youth youth violence and stuff like that in the UK. You know? So, so yeah, man. So I've I've written some poetry, but I've been written quite a bit, and so, I write for other people too. Like I said, so, so on a year, listeners, you have the skills yeah, of writing. Yeah, you you can always pursue that. You'll make money. Yeah. You know, people who have a lot of thoughts in their head and, and they're just cussing and, 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 and talking it um, freely, you can put it together. You can, you can harness something from your thoughts. You can always get Kwame or others to yeah. help you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, 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 and you can come up with a book. A book is a record. Yes, it is. You, you know, mm-hmm. you record what is happening and or record your thoughts. Mm-hmm. Because the thoughts that you have today, you might not have it tomorrow. That's right. So it's good to record it and put it down on paper. Yeah, yeah man. It's a legacy too. You know, it's a legacy yes. in terms of, of what you've left behind once you're gone and, and people, other right. people can see it. Because as you know, look, 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 we're still quoting Shakespeare to this day. Yes, we're yeah, quoting yeah. Shakespeare <laughs> still. Yeah. And Shakespeare, God, <laughs> so long. <laughs> yeah, God, so long. And also, so writing and it was something I was listening to you earlier when you're talking about reading. Yes, it is important because yes. yeah. You, Do you read a lot? Uh, yeah, man, I read a lot. I read everything. I read everything because yeah. it, and it shapes my storytelling. Yes, but reading is important to be because it gives you a particular intellect. Mm-hmm. And when you have that intellect, then people you can challenge people on things that they say to you. Or you can mm-hmm. challenge people in terms of you know systems or whatever. You can challenge mm-hmm. because if you notice, you know, anytime there's gonna be some shift in anything, they always go to the writers first. Yes. You understand because writers are the ones who in, influence, yes. and inspire, and motivate, or they cannot, they can provoke. The pen is mightier than the sword. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Pen is mightier than the sword. So yeah. you can, you can bring, and people who who don't read mm-hmm. are the ones who are more or less are the sheep. You know what I mean? Oh, so you have you have people, you have people, and you have sheep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, exactly. so the sheep, yeah. the and the sheep one will, follow the, always yeah. follow it. Yeah, always follow it. And so, so when you go to church more time, and, yep. and, and the pastor, I tell you, born this day, yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. Cr- born on this Christmas day. If you read your Bible, yeah. you would know that Jesus did not born the twenty fifth exactly. of December. Exactly, exactly. And, and in terms of my own journey, yeah. in regards to where the writing actually came to me was when I was going through my depression, which you know. Yes. Um, and it's during that time. I, uh, questions were being raised about yeah. my my liberty in terms of who I am, what my yeah. purpose in life was, and that kind of right. stuff. And those are the questions I need to ask myself. Those right. are the questions that came up, right. and um and the answers came. Yes. once I asked them, you know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Because <laughs> answer them. To, there are more questions than answers still, yeah. but there are enough yeah. answers yeah. to to all the questions that you might ask. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> but reading reading is important. Yeah, yeah. Reading is important. Well, I I I I, I know that because as a writer myself who writes yeah. um songs. I know that sometimes you, you 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 get a little line out of a book. Exactly. You get an idea yeah. from from a story. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and when you put it in when you when you when you perspectorize it in in, in, in your own way, it yeah. sounds all different. Totally. <laughs> exactly. And, and 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 the reason, like you said, about because I read other people's work. So yes. for example, Colin Chana 
Um, Colin Chana yeah. is my bridging. Yeah. 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 Colin was man. one of the first people I reached out to, and, 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 and as a matter of fact, he called me a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah and he was the first, one of the first people that I said, Boy, Reggie, what am I going to do about this writing thing? And yeah. he basically. Yeah. Colin Chana makes some money out of the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, Colin yeah. Chana, you talk about. Um, um, Kai Miller, who I know, um, you're talking about. I haven't met Marlon James yet, but but I just, you know, you're talking about Mervyn Morris. You know, yeah, yeah, about, Mervyn you Morris. You know what I mean? So there's quite a number of. Colin, Colin may be coming for Calabash. Calabash, uh, which I'm going to be at. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah. so, you, you're going to perform there? I, I don't know yet. But you, you, should that, re, you should read I, that story I, I, at Calabash. I, I, which is interesting because. I'm not gonna be there. Let's just say that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> because yeah. people see that wasn't gonna be, but no, I am. So, yeah, man. So I'm um, so we'll be there. But um, but yeah, man. So it's important. And I read, I read right across the board. Read uh, all people's works because a lot of there's another friend of mine out of America, African American, mm-hmm. uh, an award winning writer by the name of William, William Frederick Cooper, mm-hmm. and there's aspects of his writing that are in mind. And I, and okay. I, and I said to him, I let him know that you know because he, he influenced my writing, even though I tell him more in style. Right, right, you know what right. I mean, right, but right. it's my, it's, but, but uh, I but, like the style of your writing. Your writing, you. your writing, tell the story. Yeah. Exactly how you can picture it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because when he was reading about. The, the, the guy seeing the, the, the two police and, and how he feels in yeah. himself. I, I, I can yeah. understand that. Exactly. Because exactly. if a police come call me, boy, and yeah. them thing, them, and I got to, no. you know what I mean? And, and that was a person. I prefer, well, me now I said that. <laughs> <laughs> and that was a personal experience of mine when I went to the UK. Yes. I remember my first job was in a 24 hour convenience store, mm-hmm. and a white supervisor addressed me that way. And I said, Yo, you're a call boy. Yeah, you can't That's call me, boy. I'm a jammy, you can I saw something <laughs> leaky with that. I saw the whole Yeah, yeah, don't, yeah. Don't, yeah. Don't, don't, don't talk to me like that. You, again. Have, you have to think twice. Yeah, man. I said, don't, don't, talk to me, don't talk to me like that again. Because if you, if you, <laughs> yeah, exactly. If you hit him, <laughs> yeah. you are going to yeah, end yeah, up yeah. being robbed. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. but you know, but um, but yeah. So it's all of those experiences come in my stories, you know. So yes, people, we're talking to Kwame McPherson. Yes. A ready writer, <laughs> yeah, man. A guy who <laughs> born yeah. a ja- England, England, but yeah. him come a Jamaica yeah. and go school at Jamaica. Yeah. We school him here in yeah, Jamaica. Man. Yeah, man. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah, man. That's where it started. And 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 then he has become the winner of the region. You know, what I mean, the, the the Commonwealth has this yeah. um, competition of writers yep. that 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 they put on every year. And he is now the winner. We interviewed him here on Bridge. <laughs> yes, it is. Exclusively. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exclusive, 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 exclusive. exclusive. So Kwame, I, I, I want to I want a copy of 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 the book. Yeah man. That you you, you have with mental health. Yeah man. My date with depression. My date yeah. with depression. I would want to read yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it. That's See, dear people, yeah, that's it. buy it with depression. Go out and buy it. It is, it is available. It's in available online. Store. Yeah, man, online. Main online. Yeah, All right. So, um, but I haven't started rolling it out here yet, but I will do. Yes, yeah. a number of Yeah, initiatives man. That, yeah, All right, Kwame, so you want to tell the people um, where mm. they can find you uh, and, and all of that? Right, they can find me, you know what I mean, on, on most uh, social media platforms. Mm-hmm. Um, as Kwame, Arthur Kwame McPherson on mm-hmm. Facebook. I'm on Instagram was Max Key, Max Key, and there's a reason for that. It's M A X K E Y, M A X K E Y. They can find me on Facebook at Arthur Kwame McPherson. Mm-hmm. They can they can email me at Kwame M A McPherson at gmail.com and that's K W A M E M A McPherson M C P H E R S O N at gmail.com. And yeah, then and, and, and that's me. And if you want to find him, you find me, man. Yeah, exactly. Find me, find me, bridge, and we yeah. find him. Phil. Yeah, 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 yeah. You'll find me, you'll find me. You know what? Yeah, but people can get in contact with me with it. You know. Marcus Garvey said, "Reading maketh a man." Yep. Read everything that you can. You know what I mean? That is it. So thank you for coming in, Kwame. Thank you, man. It's all Th- a pleasure, Thank you man. for giving me the exclusive interview. Yeah, man. Of course. <laughs> but tell you something I'm going to do that. Yeah, yeah. I <laughs> you did it. You're yeah, a man yeah. to your word, sir. <laughs> Inside the studios with me is the beautiful JC Lodge. Yeah, man. A long time. May I listen to her. And she sounds the same way. She can perform the same way. I was watching her at Red Rose for Gregory, and she was beautiful on stage. Ah. Uh, yeah, and, 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 yeah, man, you should have come on later, but, you know what I mean, but, you know what I mean, you know. <laughs> Don't you come yeah, yeah, well. You do what you're told. <laughs> <laughs> well, well.
welcome, welcome, welcome to Bridge 99 FM. Uh, this is Ras Perens, JC Large. Welcome thank to you. Jamaica. Thank you, and thank you for having me on your show. Yes. I really appreciate that. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you see her? Yes. Ah, as beautiful as ever. <laughs> there she is. So the last time you were here, you were at? The last time I was in Jamaica mm -hmm. was for your show. Oh, Apple Salute, I, oh 2018. I want you to, I want you you to say You want the promo. <laughs> because Richard <laughs> B said that um, it's the first time she's here from from uh, how many years? Like 10 years. He was talking about Kingston, though, I think. Oh. Kingston, because it's been a long time yeah. since I've performed in Kingston. The last event that I can remember that we did, Errol, my partner, yeah. manager, husband, yes. and myself yeah. put on an event at Red Bones. And okay. I remember there was a storm at that time, Storm Gustav. And when I looked it up, it was like 2008 or yeah. something yeah. like yeah. that. Yeah. So yeah. it's a yeah. long time. It's a long time. A long Ears. <laughs> So, 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 <laughs> how it feel as a Jamaican not to be performing here on a regular? It's yes, it's heartbreaking, really. Oh. But as a, you know, some things are not entirely in our hands. So, you know, mm -hmm. you have the desire and you work towards it, but mm -hmm. then you, other things have to fall into place, you know, yes. for it to happen. So, right, right. That's what we're working on trying to improve, you know to get my profile um, up. up here because <laughs> just ju but just to let Jamaican my, my Jamaican people know and the, ca and, I have and not the diaspora and the right? whole diaspora watching and listening now you know okay well yeah. I just want everybody to know I have not been sleeping all this time and I'm not dead as some people may have thought I have been constantly working and my last um, release which was called Love Uprising mm -hmm. for Wayne Armand and Orville Marshall on their label, mm -hmm. um, which is my MM Productions, went to number one in South Florida for four weeks. What? So, and see, the Clinton so Lindsay program? Yes. Nice. So you see, things are still going on for me. Yeah. But Jamaicans <laughs> are the ones who are not so aware of what's well, going on. And well. then, well, hold on, and my previous um, single to that was yeah. called Over, which I did for Lion King, that Lion King um, label. Mm -hmm. But Lion Face is the producer. Right. And that went to number one in New York. So, so you're, you're, so you're, you're, you're so things are man. happening. You're there, but things are happening, but it's here that... Well, People listen, listen, that is why you're here on the bridge. Yes. Because you're on the bridge, 99 FM, which services Jamaica and the diaspora. Great. So Great. all the people outside of Jamaica are listening to you and watching yeah. you now and they know say you're not dead right and you're not asleep <laughs> you have been working on your daughter what up yes. your daughter my daughter is doing very well yes. in in her field at the moment so at the moment she's doing cabaret yes right in London at yeah. a top-notch Chinese venue yes you know Chinese restaurant venue right. And um, so she's working regularly. Sometimes she does two shows a night at another what? venue. What? Holy per work so that much. Holy per work. So we don't get to see her as much as we would like. Yes. And uh, but you know, she, so she's doing. You know, she's admired in that genre. Right. And doing well. But as parents, we also would love for her to yeah. do the recording side. You know, parents are never satisfied. Right. 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 So we right. keep on nagging you're, her you're, about. You, the, the, you're just able to bring her in the world but she has her own individual she's got her own ideas yes, and, and yeah, yeah. Her, her own goals yeah so you know we're saying yeah but what about your recording because you know she was doing recordings when she was younger yeah. and writing and we right. were like wow yeah. but you're, you're a good writer Gia you need to really yeah. explore this well she's going to come back much I, I really I she hope going so come forward. But, but she's her own person and right. she'll get there when she's ready right. I guess you know <laughs> yes, yes when the things fall in place for her right. yes but she's also doing acting so yes. she's done very well with that you know it's a hard field so she does tons and tons and tons of auditions and mm -hmm. every now and again she gets through something right. so she's been on death in paradise fairly recently which nice. is a bbc production that right. i don't know if jamaicans have seen that no i, ha I have not it's set in the Caribbean and they have a lot of Jamaican people on it and right. they have people on it who pretend to be Jamaican. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but she was an authentic Think one Jamaica. on that recently <laughs> yeah all right so jc um you you said you're not dead you're not sleeping you're working yes let's hear something from your new collection let the play it play something from our new collection let me hear it i'm ready now i don't know if they're ready you ready <laughs> <laughs> all right so, let me hear it so i can't get to announce it i don't know what's coming oh. what is it oh love uprising this hold on my... hold on pull up pull up pull up pull up pull up Pull up that. She's going to introduce this one and tell us about yes, it. So this is the track that I 
told you that what Wayne Armand okay. and Orville Marshall produced. Mm -hmm. So you know Wayne Armand is from Chalice. Yeah, man. Right. Wayne so he's Armand, a, a wicked guitarist, guitarist singer, singer and a producer, about. everything. Mm -hmm. So he came up with the, the rhythm. Yeah. And I saw him last year in Miami on a show we did for Pluto and Friends. Mm -hmm. And he said, you know, he had this rhythm and it's called transfusion rhythm. And he's got various people on it, Lucci and mm -hmm. so forth, Pinchers and some yeah. other people. Yeah. And, you know, would I like to be on it as, you know, because he doesn't have a and female. And you say yes, I right. Said, well, oh, of course, <laughs> of course. And then, you know, but of course it was depending on whether I would be able to write something on the track. Because not yeah. every track I'm presented yes. do I feel, right. you know, inspired. Right. Right. But this one was like immediately right, yes right, right. and I knew it was going to be a message tune and I just want my listeners here to to know that I don't only sing love songs I do message songs but yes. the message songs don't seem to get as much exposure sometimes a lot of them are hidden away because on my albums my 14 albums because 14 albums, 14 wow. albums. because precedence is a whole other thing it does and, it and when you a tone when you set the yes. tone of so being a lover's rock lady yeah. we're going to look to or you a love for that. bird as people like ah. to say which i i don't like that term a love no. bird i don't know i think it puts me in a category that yes. i feel i've got you're an more, artist more to offer than you're an artist bird. all yes. right make we hear the first song <laughs> make we hear this song what is it called love uprising love uprising let's hear it Love uprising, not just words. Can't hear it. Action. Ah, oh, don't be afraid to make a start. Even a small kind reaction can light a spark to change your heart. That's the, mo that's the morning voice that don't quite No, work the morning there. voice sound good. <laughs> <laughs> that's Love Uprising there mm -hmm. from JC Large Man. I mean, I tell you, it sound good. It's um, And you see, it's not a love bird song. It's a message it's song a message about song. all of us coming together to help each other. To right. To raise each other up. Yes. That's what it's about. Anybody ever tell you that aliens sound like you? Because I can't say you no, sound like aliens. No, and I have to tell you as an artist, <laughs> you must know. Nobody wants to be told that they sound like somebody else. We want to feel unique. <laughs> but you, but you, you're I, unique. She don't, but she has a beautiful voice, voice. so I yeah. take it as a compliment. Yeah, yeah, it's a but compliment. But I don't think I sound anything like Elaine. But, yeah. It's your opinion still. It's my opinion. <laughs> I, 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 hear, I hear her. When, yeah. when, and, and I, you know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe it's the type of song that you sing. Maybe yeah, 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 man. Yeah, man. Yeah. So, so this one sounds really good. Thank you. Sound like it can't hit, man. Well, it did. It was number one in, this is one, I was one number one in South Florida for four weeks. Right, 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 yeah. right, right. But I know what you mean. Hits more universally. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. yeah. We would at, like at, that. at least you, 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 you're still continuing on the path of, of, good music of, oh, yeah. of, of current because this beat sound like it's current yes we, we are aware that you know time is moving on and right. music you know adapts according to what's going on at the time and right. you know if, in order to remain current you have to have your ear to the ground to right. see what's going on right. and is this something i can relate to can right. i fit in here right. maybe if i tweak this you know right. I, I can still feel part of it so yes we do that and as i said wayne brought that track to me so right. it wasn't our production but i loved it right right, right. From you produce a lot yes errol and myself errol do, and do you produce, produce yes, yes and you produce even a book to a ch I, I, I oh not a not a book yet we have i've got several children's stories stories that, that yes I, yes that i that th those stories used to be were, on television in yes, Jamaica doing sing and learn yeah, yes, sing and learn thing. that's right so yeah. uh, those stories i do want to compile them into a book one day yes Ch yes. children's stories right yeah, man. And you do, four, so you, you do 14 albums? 14 albums we have done. Because it's 43 years I've been singing, you know. So What? <laughs> 43 years? Yeah. You look like yeah. you're 43 yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I feel like 43. Sometimes I feel like 23 and then I bend and I think, oh, no. <laughs> no, you really are not. You are not. <laughs> 
Oh my God, yeah. we're we're in the studios with with JC Lodge here, and and we're having a good time. She she lives in London, but she is Jamaican <laughs> to the core, and she just performed at Red Rose for Gregory uh, on Sunday night. I watch her, and she blazes up the place. <laughs> Yeah, Thank man. You. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I get you going come to Jamaica? When I get invited back. Well, I want Which to. Which there's a, there's a lot of talk, so hopefully something. Will I happen. want to invite you forward. I All want right. to invite you back. I All want right. to invite you. Yeah, forward. I prefer that. <laughs> yes, let's go forward. So, 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 um, do you write your own songs? Yes, I do a lot of writing, and you will find them if you're really a, a sincere fan mm -hmm. you will find my my writing on my albums mostly right, right. you know there are singles oh. i've done for a lot of people as well right like the well that one is an original right. the one that i told you was number one in new york mm -hmm. over that's mm -hmm. my original as well mm -hmm. and errol just came out here to tell me that mm -hmm. the next song they were going to play was shower me shower you yes all right <laughs> so but that that's on a famous jamaican rhythm when you hear it then well we want to hear it, that but my original lyrics and let, let me ask you something personal how long you and errol have been married married is different from, from living, li living with living so with. yes you tell so. me <laughs> so we, from we from i know you i know errol of enough. course we're like psyche and trim so i met him when i was 17 and he, what? Was, he was 19 that's how what? long it's been going nice and nice and yeah so then then and we we started living together yes and i remember we, this was on holborn road in a studio yes. apartment and we yeah. used to have this lady she was a Jeho jehovah's witness yeah. and i was when i came to jamaica because i was born in england yes. some people may know that yeah. When I lived in England, I didn't have any particular religion because my dad just believed in God, but he didn't have yeah. any particular faith with a name. Right. So then when I, he took me to Jamaica, now brought me to Jamaica to yeah. live with his sister and yeah. her family, that sister was a Catholic. Mm -hmm. So I had exposure to the Catholic church and, mm -hmm. and faith. Um, so then when we started living together, mm -hmm. this Jehovah's Witness lady used to come and, you know, pass by. And I've always been interested in the Bible. Yes. Not from, not because I want to belong to a faith with a name, right. but just, I just like As the words. As a spiritual person. I like the words and I like the, the, the ideas behind it, you mm -hmm. know. So I used to listen to her to see right. what she had to say. She'd come regularly. And then one day in one of her visits, she said to me, you know that you're living in sin, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I said... No, <laughs> you know, be all, I was really naive. I thought, no. And she said, yes, you're living in sin because you're not married. Oh. And it just kind of put the idea in my head. And I thought, well, if I love this person and, I, well. and we're dedicated to each other, right. it doesn't really uh, matter. matter. We might as well. So we went and got married around at Salvation yeah. Army. No, <laughs> no crowd of people. No. Nothing special. It was just, well, I shouldn't say nothing special. But it, it was it wasn't, special. It wasn't traditional. Right, right, right. It was just Errol, myself, Errol's sister, and we invited one. Another, we had to have another witness right. and that it was Errol's friend and he didn't turn up <laughs> he forgot he forgot to come so I had to go and find somebody yes, to, to, make, to go through with this pr proceeding <laughs> and I saw this man busy fixing something on the roof so I, said, I touched him I said excuse me I like, he was on a ladder he said he turned around I said wait Judy because he, know, he knows yeah. he was Judy he said, Junie. I said, oh, Everton. And I said, do you mind coming to be a witness? That, oh, we're getting married right now. Can you be? A? And he said, sure. And that's how we got to do it. Oh, Otherwise, it wouldn't have been legal. Nice. So that's nice. It. Simple, simple. And, and he has been integral into your, your work totally, from, from, totally. from day one. Yeah. And Partners in crime. Crime, yes. yes. I love that. Yeah. Big up, Errol. <laughs> big up, big up, big up. Mm -hmm. All right, make we hear the next track. From right. So this is Shower Me. Shower You. Yes. Yeah, make we hear that, JB. Rain on me, judge me, quench my grief Like Sahara eyes, lie here hot and dry Long awaiting, this thirst abating Like Sahara my dunes first silly cry Let the heavens open, let the spell be broken with your sweet stuff I can't get it Of your love Pour it on me Trench my every need I've been waiting Anticipating Anticipating You're really making I don't remember all the words <laughs> Wicked Wicked No this, this one is bad 
Thank you. It's like I you, love that rhythm. You're stepping up a notch. The the, the 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 first one was on a level, but this yeah. one it's it's your And this one is older. This one we did early when we moved to England. We moved to England in two thousand and one. So this would have been maybe around two thousand and three, four. You so, did this? Yeah. And it sounds That's so why I don't remember the words. <laughs> <laughs> and it sounds so fresh. Yeah, well, it sounds good. I think most of my music is gonna sound fresh because when I don't hear it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but but I mean, someone's loves you, honey, sounded fresh. Yes. And telephone. That, that one, I, d I can't complain about that one being heard. That one is definitely heard. Yes. But yeah. and I love that. But mm -hmm. as I said, that's 1980. And this is 2023 Those and I've got 14 strange. albums and numerous singles. So though I love the fact that people cherish Someone Loves yes. You Honey and Telephone Love, yeah. I so desire for you to hear more, more. of what I have done yeah, yeah, through yeah. my life, my career. You know, it's, right. not, it's not two songs. Right, because, <laughs> because the experience that you have had is like you, you, you write from that. Yes, and, and, and it has to be a lot. Yes, and yeah. it's it's meaningful. I mean, those songs are, are strong songs. Of course, I didn't write either of them. Someone loves you, honey, is a cover song. I know, written by somebody. Somebody in America. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Devine. Yeah. And telephone love was written by Mikey Bennett, Hoped and Lindo, and Carlton Hines. Uh, and three uh, you of know, them write it. Yes. Well, I think one of them maybe helped with the rhythm or something. I can't remember yeah, how yeah, it yeah. went, but definitely Mikey Bennett. No, it, and was Gossie, Hoped it was Gussie. It was written yes. by Gussie. Yes, it was produced by Gussie. Yeah. Yes. Hoped and Lindo is the pen man. And Mikey Bennett is the pen. Uh, definitely, them by, them by, definitely. But Carlton Hines is also a good one. Carlton writer. Hines is Yeah, so too. between the three of them, they cooked up this <laughs> song, yeah, yeah. right? They cooked and up then, a hit for you. Right? And <laughs> then me flinging my flavor. So, you know, I'm not knocking those songs. I love to sing them. And I yeah. love the fact that I have fans worldwide who love these songs. Yes. But you can imagine it's frustrating for an artist yes. to be only mainly recognized for a song that's from 1980 mm -hmm. and the other one is from 1988 mm -hmm. and this is 2023 yeah. and i have been recording non-stop right. as i said 14 albums countless singles so let me give you an idea. check me out <laughs> youtube jc lodge music if you really genuinely like my voice and what i have to offer i'm an artist i don't have two songs or four songs or five songs i've got so many songs for 40. you to check out 14 albums. albums and it's about 14 <laughs> or 15 songs on each album right so enough that when and you enough. multiply that by 14 is yes. enough so let me give you an idea yes i have an idea to do a show or do an album of the songs that they didn't play oh the songs they didn't play because yeah. i have a lot of them of them too yeah and i want <laughs> them to, <laughs> to be, be heard exposed. of course so, so so maybe you could do a show with all the songs that was not being played that's a lovely dream, but when you think of the people in front of you, they <laughs> want it. Sing <laughs> it, them! <laughs> Telephone love! Someone love you, honey! You know, you can't escape it. So I, I understand that, and I always make sure so, I sing those so, songs. But I need you to need to more. Inject, you need to we, inject we one and two of them. We need to get more time on stage, really. Right. From, if you've been singing 43 years, mm -hmm. to sing in a small slot, mm -hmm. it's difficult because then you can oh. only sing the songs that how have many, mostly been exposed. How many minutes you did it Sunday night? It was, f you know, fairly reasonable. Thirty minutes. I mean, I I've, done, I've, done, I've done shows where I get ten minutes, and in fact, I did one show. I can't <laughs> stop talking about it. Errol says, "Don't bring up the negativity," but I can't help saying it. I did this show. We come all the way from England to America to do this show. There were three women on the show. Three women, and I suppose we should have been grateful because usually there's one. There were three of us. We were all stuffed together in yeah. one slot on this show because there's segregation, like yeah. apartheid. Yeah. Women must stay together, and the men go on one side too, and there we were and I was the last of the three and they came just as my foot touched the stage a yeah. man ran up to me five minutes here you have five minutes and I, and I was given 20 minutes we rehearsed yes. a 20 minute show this man just as I'm stepping on the stage yeah. coming to five tell me minutes. I've got five minutes I said no I, it's not five he said take it or leave it I'm like, what kind of well, you respect got, you, you got pay already the pay is the least, Tony. Yes. No, it's not the least, but, the least. but that was not the point. No, I know, you know? From, from an artist's perspective. 20 the, the, minutes yeah. is not even a great expose. slot. And you want to expose your art. You're yeah. an artist. Yeah, you, man, you know? So that was a big slap in the face. Yeah. Anyway, so you, you can imagine how I felt. So what, you, what did you do? You did just, I had did to you do what I was told. I had to go up and sing two songs, and that was it. But and was it impact? It was well, you factful. know, the, the audience wouldn't even have known how much time I had. And from there here, telephone love and someone loves you, honey. I suppose <laughs> they couldn't care less. But for me, 
It's a big diss, <laughs> yes, you know, yes, yes, because yes, I, I yeah. and it's like um, a, a, somebody who's doing paintings and, yeah. you know, you're told, well, uh, we're only going to show two paintings that you've right. done in your whole life. OK, just two, pick two. So uh, let so, me put on let me put on the the promoters hat now. Yeah. Sometimes yes. you 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 schedule a show to give artists certain amount of time, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, yeah. and then some delay take place. Yeah. And and the delay that 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 takes place is like you 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 cramp for time whether yes. whether it it is something with the sound yes. or something with the which artist. Is what, which is what happened to yeah, be fair. Yeah, they had yeah. a, they had a big issue the year before right. with time police right. locking them down and the right. star person must have never get to perform so they wanted to make sure that this time uh, the, the star person right. was not affected right. so you just wound one of the ladies because that don't matter <laughs> anyway sorry girl, i'm just running up my mouth yeah no but it's it's, it's a real issue it's a real yeah. issue so there is that um chauvinism in the industry i have to say there is chauvinism. Women are not treated with the same respect that the males are. Right. And that, I mean, you can see it from the industry. It right. is so heavily dominated by, by males. Men. But when you, but look, at, so when you look at R&B, yeah. you can find, you know, if you name a man, you can name a woman. Yeah, yeah, Every yeah, time yeah, you yeah, name yeah. a man, what about this woman? You know, but in reggae, in reggae, you have a whole lot of ladies now. There are a lot of ladies, but we're still not as well represented as, as we should as be before. on the events. As, as, um, as the R&B. As the males in reggae, when right. you have most reggae shows are male dominated, right. and you have a few women singing, right. the women are the nutmeg. Right, so maybe maybe the ladies sprinkle some women. Maybe the ladies need to step up their. We are craft. trying. We are trying. No, yeah. not step up our craft. I think we have ladies who are performing very well, well and have yes. good pro good products. Yes, it's yeah. not that. It's right. just that. But but not enough though. I don't think that there is enough. Um, ladies like the men because the males are always out there but you have a whole lot of ladies and a, a whole lot of ladies coming into the industry yes, now yes there, there are lots of young ladies yeah. coming into the industry but the you know and they're they are getting some shows yes. overseas i see that right but in terms and they're of making good songs too yes they're good so you see so they're they're making good products so it's not i don't think it's the product and i don't think you know i think it's just a, a chauvinistic way of looking at things men mercy. have always <laughs> been the ones that are pushed more women are the love birds they, right. they were in the past but and so we are just the little spice that's thrown into the show but not, really it's, it's a not man so thing. it's not so again, you know like it's a they're man's world you know because women in Jamaica drive all the big vehicles they they have all the work they dominate the university the world the world is still the a man's world the world is still a man's world generally but there in is, general but, but, but there women is, are stepping up no, yes no there is there is it's a man's world yeah but you, you always have to have a girl of course yes <laughs> but we want a piece of more of the action you know yes. we want to be seen as equals in in right. some ways in terms of rights we want some equal rights still that I, was J.C. Lodge that, talk, that, talk, it, that is J.C. Lodge. <laughs> Lodge talking about the, the equality Equal and, rights. and e inequality right. of, 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 of men and women. All right, we take a break. <laughs> and when we're forward, we're forward with more experience. <laughs> 